Hi guys, uh, today we are going to discuss about the one of the interview questions uh, in SQL Server frequently they are asking uh, what are the magic tables in SQL Server? What are the magic tables in SQL Server? Right? So we have uh, a permanent tables in SQL Server? Yes. So under the databases, under the table section, these are all the permanent tables in the SQL Server and also we see the temporary tables and we see the table variables and we see the derived tables so what are the magic tables what kind of magic these tables will do so we have two tables those are magic tables inserted table is the one table and the one is the deleted table so where these tables are stored so these tables are not stored in any of the databases even in the temporary database also. So these tables automatically will uh, create virtually at the time of any insertion or deletion is happening. For example, recently if you are uh, inserting any data, yes, that uh, recent values, whatever you have inserted into any of the one table, that will come into inserted table. And uh, whatever the values you have deleted recently or uh, you have updated. Updated means you are going to overwrite the old value with new value. So the old value will come into this deleted table. So if you want to access immediately whatever the values you have inserted or whatever the values you have deleted, yes, you can use this magic tables. So how can you access these magic tables. You can't access these magic tables directly from here. See here, if you are writing this select star from inserted. So, invalid object name. So, the where you can access these magic tables. The magic tables you can access in triggers. You know the triggers, right? So, the triggers will execute automatically whenever you are performing the operations like uh, DML operations insert update delete any kind of operation whenever you are performing so automatically these triggers will enable and will execute automatically so the triggers having a set of SQL statements for the demonstration purpose, this uh, magic tables, I'm going to create a sample trigger on a particular table. Create trigger, a trigger name, I'm going to write down T1. Okay, on which table you want to create this trigger? I want to create a sample one table. We'll see if we have the table or not. Select star from sample. Sorry. Right, I want to use another table, EMP1 table. See, this is the data we have in the EMP1 table. We'll see already is there any triggers on this table, EMP1 table. So, already I have one trigger, I want to delete that one. I want to create a new trigger because, okay, right. Right, so the trigger I want to write down is what kind of trigger you are going to write down. I want to write down after insert trigger as begin. Right, so whatever the data you have inserted into this EMP1 table, that data will come into this inserted table. Right, so I have written just a simple select statement, execute it. Right. So now what I want to do, if you are trying to insert the data into, insert into EMP1 table, right, values, what values you want to insert? I want to insert 500 employee number and uh, Ram is the employee name and salary is 6000. So if you are executing this one, what will happen? Automatically it will execute this trigger. So inside the trigger what you have written? Select star from inserted table, right? See, one row affected. Got it? Right. So, what I want to do, whatever the data you have inserted here, 
if the same data if you want to track into another table I want to keep this data into history also okay right so first you have to create this uh, trigger there is already an object name t1 we'll check oh sorry the table on which on which table you want to create this one emp1 table execute it sorry i want to make it the trigger name is uh, t12 done if you are trying to insert the record what will happen automatically it is displaying this record but we are executing just insert statement because the select statement whatever you have written inside this uh, trigger it is executed we didn't take the data from emp1 we have taken from the inserted table the another trigger i want to write down now regarding the deleted delete okay so whenever you are deleting any record from this emp1 table automatically the deleted table will execute okay so the trigger name i want to give this one execute the trigger delete table the table name is delete table we just execute it sorry select star from delete table this is the table name command completed successfully i want to delete from emp1 where employee number equal to what employee number you want to delete i want to delete this 100 sorry e number equal to 100 see those records whatever the records we have deleted those records will come into deleted table the trigger is executing and it is displaying the two records so if in interview they will ask a question like uh, what are the magic tables in sql server so simply you can tell inserted and deleted tables are the magic tables in the sql server and uh, so where where we can find out these two tables yes we can use these two tables in triggers what is the usage of these uh, two tables these two tables will save the information whatever the values you have recently inserted and whatever the values recently you have deleted will come into these two tables thanks guys thank you